Dozens of students walked out of class at Lenore City High School today. They made the move in solidarity with the victims of the Florida high school shooting and with hopes their administration will make some changes. WBIR 10 News reporter Shannon Smith spoke with students and staff at that high school today about their security concerns and plans for change. When the bell rang at 945 Tuesday morning, about 60 students at Lenore City High School did not go to their next class. Instead, they walked out. We want to be the change and that we want to be able to grow up and have our children come to school and not be afraid. The high schoolers observed 17 minutes of silence in honor of the 17 victims in the Florida high school shooting. Our society, it's almost become like normal for gun violence and school shootings and stuff to happen and we just don't want it to happen anymore. Now these students are calling their own school administration to action. Students should not fear every single day going to school wanting to feel safer at school. We need more security. So even if it costs more taxpayers money, like it doesn't matter. Like I feel like everyone here, their parents, their grandparents, their siblings, they want to see them come home at the end of the day. And that's important. Principal Chip Orr says safety is a top priority. We have locked doors during the day. People have to check in and out at the front desk. They have to leave us with their ID when they come in if they're not a, a faculty or staff member. Um, uh, you know, we have two SROs in our system. He says active shooter training for students is also planned next week. Students who walked out Tuesday were not punished. They were marked absent from the classes they missed. They had something they wanted to express and we were going to let them express it because it's important that they do that um, for the right reason. Sometimes it takes a little uh, social disruption to, to get the right people's attention. In Lenore City, Shannon Smith, WBIR 10 News.